Barada and Shemai. Hello and good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jo and today I'm going to be leading you through a stretch and relaxation program. But before we begin, please make sure that you read the safety disclaimer provided on all our social media platforms and our website. As we are going to be doing some stretching, it's also really, really important that you make sure that you're sufficiently warm, as we don't want to injure ourselves and pull up any of our muscles. So I would recommend that you only do this video after you've completed a full class. I'm going to be doing uh, some stretching and relaxation stuff in my socks but it's entirely up to you what kind of footwear you want to wear. You can either wear shoes or socks, whichever feels comfortable for you. And if you do have a mat or something soft, because we are going to be doing a little bit of lying down towards the end of the programme, that would be great. But don't worry if you haven't, just do the best you can. I'm going to start by leading you through um, some exercises um, for stretching and lengthening our muscles that can either be done either standing or sitting. It's entirely up to you how you choose to do them, but it's really important that we make sure that we have the correct form so that we stretch the correct muscles and we're not going to injure ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do um, is if you can stand with your feet hip width apart, engage the core muscles, really lengthen through from the top of our head and lengthen our spine, and we're simply going to roll down, um, taking our chin to our chest, and then taking our hands onto the floor. So we're gonna roll down for one, two, three, four, five, six, bend the knees, straighten the knees to get a bit of a hamstring stretch, bend the knees, and then we're gonna roll up again. Two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This time we're going to hold the hamstring stretch for a little bit longer. So if you can hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nod the head, shake the head, and then we're going to roll back one, two. Three, four, five, six. Those of us doing um, a seated adaptation of um, this exercise, if, I'm just going to quickly take you through it. Um, so if you can sit nice and tall in a chair for me, um, and again, make sure we focus on using our core muscles and really lengthening out the top of our head. Um, so for those of us who are doing this version of the exercise, um, again, we're going to roll down for one, two, three, four, five, six. Let everything go. Then we're going to do a flat back stretch, taking the arms out to the side. And it's really, really important that you make sure that the arms and the hands are in line with our shoulders so they're not too far forward or too far back. They really are in line with our shoulders. Make sure that the shoulders are down and the neck is long and extended. And then you let everything go. And then we come up and roll up to a seated position again. So I'm just gonna do it one more time. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we do a flat back stretch. Hold it there for one, two, three, four, five, then we go down, and then we roll up, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're also more than welcome um, to, when you're in this position, as I did with the previous version, to again do the nodding and shaking of the head to just release some tension in our necks. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch our neck muscles. So we're going to be focusing on mus the muscles here, which are the scaling muscles, and also these muscles at the back of our neck, which are the upper trapezius muscles. So the first thing I'm going to show you is if you take one of your um, arms and put the hand of the arm you've just taken up to the opposite side of your head, then from there, if you breathe in, we're going to breathe in for one, two, three, four, 
And as you breathe out, we're going to incline the head slightly and stretch the neck. Then we're going to come back to the center and we do it again. So you breathe in. And then as we breathe out, we incline the head to stretch the neck. And then come back to the center. Then I'm quickly going to show you it to the other side as well. So we make sure that the head is centralized. Then we breathe in. And then as we breathe out, we incline the head to stretch this part of our neck. Um, but it's also really, really important that you don't push it too far like that because you don't want to strain these muscles. You just want to lengthen them and stretch them and release some of the tension. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch um, these muscles, the upper trapezius muscles. So if you can take both arms um, with the hands behind the head, uh, with their elbows like this and bring them slightly forward and again we're going to breathe in and then as we breathe out we push the head slightly forward again don't push it too much because we don't want to injure these muscles we just want to get enough of a stretch so with stretching um, you do want to push it but you want to push it to a place that it feels um, slightly uncomfortable rather than um, pain so you just want to make sure that you monitor it yourself um, because you know your body and you don't really want to push it and get injured so then we come back up again so I'm going to do it again we breathe in and then we stretch these muscles again and then we come up um, so again the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to stretch uh, the muscles on the inside of our arms um, so if you can take one of your arms up and flex them and take the other hand, I'm going to push the palm away as much as you can and make sure that you keep the elbow really nice and straight and that you're also maintaining the posture. So we're going to hold that for one, two, three, four, let go, shake it out, do it again, one, two, three, four. Let go, shake it out before we do the other side. So here we go, one, two, three, four. Shake it out to let go. And then one, two, three, four. And shake it out and let go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you um, through some exercises on the floor. Um, I also will do an adaptation. So we're going to sit on the floor. Um, if you can cross our legs. Um, you don't want to have one foot on top of the knee. You just want to make sure that they're crossed evenly. Um, and we're going to take the arms up. And as we breathe out, we're going to lean forward. Lean forward. And really, as much as you can, if you can. Put your palms on the floor and really lengthen the back and head and really stretch out that back. Um, we're targeting uh, the glute muscles with this stretch. Um, so if you're doing it correctly, you should feel a slight pull um, in these muscles. And again, you don't want to force it um, and injure yourself. Okay, then we're going to come up again. Take the arms up. And we go forwards. Hold it there for one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this position, you want to try as much as you can to aim to get your chest on um, the lower part of your legs. Okay, so from there, we're going to take one of our hands and we're going to bend over to one side. I'm going to hold it there. And you really want to think about lengthening away um, with the shoulder coming away from the ear so you don't want to bring it up like this because that's doing the wrong type of stretch with the muscles um, and we're not maintaining good form so you really really want to hold it there and also think about as much as you can I'm imagining reaching with my arm to the opposite wall but not letting my shoulder come up to my ear so then we come up again I'm going to do the other side 
Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five. And then we come up. Um, but those two exercises can be done um, in a chair, um, specifically if you're doing uh, the one to stretch uh, our sides. Um, you can lean over to the side. You may have to slightly um, restrict how far you lean over just so you can maintain the balance, but you can still get the correct type of stretch. Um, and then if you want to challenge um, and target more of this area of your body, you can think about turning and really making sure as much as you can to try and keep um, your opposite hip back in the chair to get a little bit of a stretch and then do it this side as well and keep that back in the chair, this hip, um, so you can stretch it a bit. Okay, so I'm going to do um, our next stretching exercise. Um, so if you can, um, lie on the floor um, and you really want to release all the tension from your body, shake your arms out a little bit um, and we're going to take one of our legs and we're going to lift it up. Then we're going to bend it in with our thighs to our knees to our chest. Then from there, we're going to take the opposite um, hand to our ankle and stretch the hamstrings. Hold it there for one, two, three, four, five. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do it with a flex foot. I'm doing it with a pointy foot, but it is entirely up to you. And then you want to bring it back. And we stretch. Two, three, four. And then bring it back to bent. And then if you also want to take it to the side, you can push your knee down to the floor. But again, with all stretching, make sure that you're not forcing it. You want to be within the range of, yes, it's uncomfortable, but it's bearable. And then from there, you can stretch the leg to the side, hold it there. Make sure that you keep uh, the other leg on the floor at all times, and then bring it back. And then stretch, and then bring it back again. For those of us who are going to be doing um, these exercises seated, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take both our arms out to um, and like an inverted second and then from there we're going to twist the body and we hold it and really maintain the length between each of these middle fingers and hold the arms there as much as you can and then come back to the centre and then we're going to do it to the other side hold it there hold 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 and then come back to the center. Um, but you can do that exercise as many times as you like um, to really get the stretch and rotation in our spines. You can lie on your back. If um, you are doing it seated, that's absolutely fine. Um, you can just um, make sure that you maintain a nice neutral position in your chair, um, that you do um, maintain your core muscles. Um, but if you can let everything else relax, then that's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, if you can just let everything go. And we're just going to finish with some deep breathing. And I'm going to put on some wave music to get us in the mood of thinking that we're um, lying on either uh, a lilo or something like that um, in the sea somewhere. So, if you can breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, and breathe out, two, three, four, five. Uh, make sure you close your eyes as well. Then we're going to breathe in for five again, three, four, five, and breathe out. The five. One, two, three, four, five. This time we're going to breathe 
and for eight for one two three four five six seven eight and breathe out for it one two three four five six seven eight so when we're doing this exercise you really want to think about breathing in through your nose and then breathing out through your mouth so breathe in for two three four five six seven eight and then breathe out again for eight two three four five six seven eight and slowly in your own time get ready uh, to open your eyes and come back to sitting up right thank you so much for tuning into today's video i really really hope you've enjoyed it and you feel nice and stretched um, and relax. Um, so make sure that you continue to look out um, for more videos posted every single day. Tomorrow as well we've got a special treat for you with um, the full length production of A Child's Christmas being shown. Um, it's a really really great production. Um, I actually went to watch it, ooh, when was it? About, well nearly two years ago in Doncaster. Thank you again for tuning into today's tutorial and I really, really hope to see you again in one of my next videos. And yeah, bye for now.